Hi everyone, Adventure4904 here. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'd like to share with you an interesting add-on for Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. It is called Bush Talk Radio. If you're like me and you love to explore the world and are curious of various landmarks or points of interest, then this add-on is a must to have. Let me show you. Head over to bushtalkradio.com you will see that you have the world map. I'm actually zoomed in into the uh, London area, or well, in this case, it's uh, United Kingdom. And you can see these markers on the map. And each and every marker as, as is actually a point of interest. So if I were to just maybe click on this marker over here, and you can see that you have facts about that particular area, or this is called the Villa Park. And if you can, if you click on this play button over here, it will actually narrate for you of the information about this area. If I were to just click on the play icon over here, you can hear that in a second. Villa Park is a football stadium in Aston, Birmingham, England, with a seating capacity of 42,095. It has been the home of Aston Villa Football Club since eight. Okay, I'm going to stop that. So, if you notice that we have a lot of points of interest here in the map. Uh, the, what the cool thing about this is that it actually hooks up with the Microsoft Flight Simulator whilst you are flying towards or near the landmark over here it will start playing that information or the uh, facts about that area. It's kind of cool and interesting. Okay, so how do we install this? So again, head over to bushtalkradio.com and once you are here, at the bottom of the screen, you will see that the one called Download Client. Click on that and you will be taken to this website called flightsim.to. You will be taken to this page. So in this page, there's information about Push Talk Radio. Uh, let's go through information first before we start downloading it. So it's a community-driven project to aim to fill the world with thousands of interesting landmarks and POIs. They have audio tours in all the game POIs, including Japan, US, and now even the UK. You can even add custom locations of your own and with your own audio tours. This is interesting because you can now create your own POIs anywhere in the world. So how do we get started? Uh, go down to the website, create a login. You must have a login, create a login and login and a password for yourself. Download the client, which is uh, what we're about to do. And if you, wish, if you wish to, you can download the Bush, Bush Talk Radio landmarks. They have a pack of uh, landmarks that you can download. And once you are in the cockpit, you will get uh, the you'll get an icon in the cockpit toolbar. Okay, I'll show it to you guys in a bit. And then fly to a place that is actually interesting for you, or it has the POI and the audio will come on. Right. So let's give it a go. So I've downloaded this particular client, or I've done I've downloaded the the app or the add-on. Okay, by just clicking over here. And what you need to do is that uh, after that you have to unarchive it and drag it into your community folder all right so i have a community folder over here you can see i've already put that there it's under push talk radio client and it has some files in there all right so for those who are not sure where their community folder is this is actually the url or in this case the breadcrumbs to where the community folder is all right so what we're going to do next is we are going to go into the sim and we are going to fly to the nearest POI and see whether this works. Okay, I'll see you in a bit. All right, here we are in Coventry in uh, West Midlands uh, in the UK. And I've got this beautiful livery from uh, Flight Simulator that I downloaded and use it in my Cessna. Very interesting. Okay, so we're going to fly off to uh, a POI, which is actually a Warwick Castle. It's based in uh, somewhere in Coventry or nearby Coventry and we will want to check whether that uh, POI or the bush talk radio is working. So before we start flying, there are a couple of things that we have to ensure that works or that it's actually uh, enabled is number one. Let me just click on ready to fly. So we are in the cockpit and if you click up here onto the taskbar, you will see now that you have a icon and then you can see that you have you have you have to key in your username and password. In my case is adventure, and you gotta key in your password. 
Okay, click on login. And it should log in, log in into your website or their client and then connected is connected. Yeah, it's connected. By the way, uh, if you don't get the connection here, it means that you will have to actually open the website in full mode. You can't minimize this website. Yeah, if you open your bushtalkradio.com, it has to be open in the background. So once we have got that running, we can just put this aside or I can just minimize this or I can just push it aside here. All right. And we can start flying. So I'm going to take off from Coventry and or off to Warwick Castle and we will try and see whether we can get to hear the, the narration for Warwick Castle. All right. Okay, here we go. This is um, Warwick Castle coming up. Let's uh, try and see whether we can go lower to have a look at the castle itself. It takes a second or two to start uh, the narration or the uh, voice tour. But the scenery looks so amazing. Warwick Castle is a medieval castle developed from a wooden fort originally built by William the Conqueror during 1068. Warwick is the county town of Warwickshire, England, situated on a bend of the River Avon. The original wooden Martin Bailey Castle was rebuilt in stone during the 12th century. During the Hundred Years' War, the facade opposite the town was refortified, resulting in one of the most recognizable examples of 14th century military architecture. It was used as a stronghold until the early 17th century, when it was granted to Sir Fulk Greville by James I in 1604. Greville converted it to a country house and it was owned by the Greville family, who became Earls of Warwick in 1759, until 1978 when it was bought by the Two Swords Group. In 2007, the Two Swords Group was purchased by the Blackstone Group which merged it with Merlin Entertainments. Warwick Castle was then sold to Nicholas Lau's investment firm Presbury Group under a sale and leaseback agreement. Merlin continues to operate the site under a renewable 35-year lease. Warwick Castle is situated in the town of Warwick, on a sandstone bluff at a bend of the River Avon. The river, which runs below the castle on the east side, has eroded the rock the castle stands on, forming a cliff. The river and cliff form natural defenses. When construction began in 1068, four houses belonging to the Abbot of Coventry were demolished to provide space. The castle's position made it strategically important in safeguarding the Midlands against rebellion. During the 12th century, King Henry I was suspicious of Roger de Beaumont, 2nd Earl of Warwick. To counter the Earl's influence, Henry bestowed Geoffrey de Clinton with a position of power rivaling that of the Earl. There you go. That's very interesting, isn't it? So it works. As soon as you come very close to the BOI, uh, the voice narration will start playing. This is interesting, right? So you can go to anywhere on the surface of the Earth to get more information about that particular place and uh, obviously you can learn much much more it works so head on to bushtalkradio.com and get it installed and fly around and uh, enjoy the world at how Microsoft and Asubo wants us to enjoy okay so this is Adventure 494 signing off uh, I hope you have enjoyed the video and I hope you will download the add-on and have a play with it Please like and subscribe the channel if you, if you find that this uh, video was interesting or, or you would like to have more such videos later on. So I'll see you soon and happy flying.